Where's my reparations at, you devil? <clears throat> I said that in the spirit of uh, Yash uh, Ba, who uh, was Apostle Gabar and Apostle uh, Rakar. There was this guy that we used to sell on tables and years ago, and there was this uh, Mexican guy that worked in a, a restaurant. It was like a Mexican type style restaurant like a fusion Mexican restaurant when he was cool with us. And he, he, he was one, I don't know if he was one of the cooks or delivery guys, but he was cool with us. And he would, uh, you know, bring us mainly cause I wasn't always there, but he would bring, bring out, uh, you know, tacos and fajitas and stuff. And you know, this is for you, this is for you guys, you know? And I remember Ayash Maba, he was hanging out with with them too. I wasn't there. I think I was on my way or something. I don't know where I was. But I, I was down there with they, them too. So uh they were getting they were getting fajitas, right? <laughs> so the brother, the dude, the Issa right gave uh Ricard Gabar fajitas and uh Ayash Mabba, which he's a gadite. We don't know what he's doing now. We don't know if he's dead or, or what. He said, Where's my fajitas? <laughs> so that's what I thought about with this uh, topic right here. Where's my, where's my reparations? Or where did he say, what did he say? Where's my fajitas at? Where's my fajita, where's my reparations at? You damn devil. For all you clown ass knucklehead Negroes that voted for this guy, this bud for you, I'm, I'm bugging. Anyway, this video just came up a couple of minutes ago. Uh, uh, go black to Africa. Uh, African Americans highly upset of Biden. This Biden's disrespect offered to Africa. You, what the fuck you worrying about fucking Africa for? You should be worried about yourself. You mad because uh, this guy gave only fifty five million dollars. What the fuck did he give you? So they're talking about it now. And I'm gonna say this, but when you got, if you ever get it, you're gonna get it in the form of a, a digital currency. But you got to get that karagma. You got to get the MOTB. So a lot of you are going to take it. That's what I, 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 I'm not sure. You know, they didn't send me the memo. But anyway, I'm not going to let you see this. Um, just speaking on it, making it super short. But so that's an embarrassment. Uh, I don't know what parts of Africa he's talking about. I don't know if he's talking about the, the whole continent all the nations in the continent of Africa, $55 billion is a drop in the bucket. So the name of the video, African-Americans highly upset of Biden's disrespect offer to Africa. These dumbass Negroes over here. Uh, anyway, um, true reparations is what we teach. It's an Esau that want to hear that. First, number one, Esau doesn't want to know he's Edomite. Them small has never mentioned the word Esau. And if they and if you bring it up, they'll say, oh, we're not Esau, we're Jacob. Well, yeah, uh y Yaqub. Ya ya how do you say ya Yaqub? Yaqov. They'll say, they'll say Yaqov, Yaqov, Yaqov and Yaqov and Asov. Asov is Esau. They say that's the bad one. You guys are the you guys are Esau. You did you the descendants of you descended from Esau. And, and according to the scriptures, you're going in, you're going back into slavery. You went into slavery uh during the time of King David, King Solomon, during the time of those kings, and you freed yourself as a fulfillment of Genesis. I believe that's Genesis uh 27, if I'm not mistaken. As a matter of fact, I'll go to it. Then I'm going to look up the word reparations because that's the talk now. California's talking about they're damn near ready to just give out $233,000 to each Jake. It's a good start, but that's, a, that's an embarrassment is if that's all you're going to get. Now here in New York, you got a governor, whatever her name is. Um, I can't even remember her name. New, the woman, she, they're talking about uh, pretty much giving every New York uh, so-called Negro of New York State. state. New York is a big state. It's a huge state, man. You can go, you can drive up to Canada. You know, Niagara Falls is right at the border of Canada and New York. So you're talking, you know, from uh, New York City to 
let's say you wanted to go to uh, Niagara Falls, uh, Toronto, Toronto, depending on where you leave. That's, that's, that's uh, we're talking uh, how many, how many, uh, that's 10 hours, so that's about 600 miles. That's about 600 miles from like New York City to like the touching Canada. Now, if you live in De Detroit, it's much, it's much closer. I'm talking about the New York side, the East Coast side. And we drove, and we went up there. We, I flew up there one time and I drove up there another time. And we had a good time. We, there was a conference up there of different Israelite groups and we stole the show. You know, we, they were like, they wouldn't start the meeting until we came. They're looking at the door. When is these guys going to come? Because the level of, the level of our, our intelligence, you had to steal that from Killer Priest. You don't know the level of my intelligence. He said that to the brothers out there in the West, the GMS, the mighty brothers, the GMS brothers out there in the West, because they were laughing at him. And when he said, when he made that statement, he said, you don't know the level of my, now, now the first day he kind of, we're cool with him. And then we told him, he said, this guy used to be in my camp, he fell out. So he used to come around. Then they kind of laughed at him. They were clowning him and he got mad. And he said, you don't know the level of my intelligence. And then he walked, you know, he walked away, he never came back. Well, guess what? His intelligence that, that, his hat, that, he, that he was going to give them was that, uh, you know, the God's 5% of stuff, the different lessons that was, that, that was uh, the founder is, uh, Clarence 13X. I mean, you listen to them, boy, you, you'd be like, God damn. That's why it says, um, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Well, nah, if you had sense in your head, that shit, that you can't be deceived by that. But he, he dropped off. He fell out the truth. He was in my camp back in the day, back in the early 90s, late 80s, early, early 90s. You can ask, you can ask uh, Bishop Nathaniel. Nathaniel tell you the same thing. He even had a dream that when we were, we were, I'm gonna get back in the subject, that we were in a, in a parade, the men that were men of the Lord and people were clapping and he was, he, uh, Bishop Nathaniel said, he saw him in the audience clapping for us. We had the garments and all that. And that's why I believe Bishop Nate is one of the elect. He don't believe, he don't believe that about, about me, but I'll, I'll say that, I'm, I can't prove it. A week say we're hopefully elect. So I believe he's one of the elect, along with High Priest Ariel, High Priest Shaw, and certain others. Uh, so let me, what, I don't know how I got, hit, got over here. Where the hell did I get over here? Oh, I said I was going to go on the scriptures. You already know the scriptures. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you one, one priest. Oh, wow. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I was going to go to that precept. And guess what popped up? I read the first two verses for the for Yahweh shall will have mercy. Will meaning it means uh it means future. I will give you this money. I will take you out tonight. We will go get some food. That's something that we are going to do. Not you don't say we will eat while you eat. We will eat in another hour while we eat. Will the word will means uh something that you're gonna do it's 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 a uh, it's a past uh, uh future tense right for Yahweh will future tense have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Yasha Allah remember the two kingdoms so the two kingdoms when did the two kingdoms come together they're coming together right now that's that army and set them and set them in their own land and the strangers, which now the now high priest Ariya said the strangers are talking about other nations and they're trying to get they grab to trying to grab onto our you know uh, knowledge, the fact that they're the Israelites. No, that's not talking about that. The strangers are referring to other Israelites. When before I came into this, I was considered a stranger. I mean, I always knew I was an Israelite from my parents. But I was never really serious about it, but I knew it. I did what my parents told me to do. But when I became a man, you know, let every, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, you know, because guys, um, I'll give you a story. A Bishop Nathaniel's uh, son, his oldest son, came up in the knowledge as he was a child. Bishop Nathaniel and his wife raised him up. 
And when he got to a certain age, he said, I don't want to do this no more. I want to go my own way. And um, and I, it's not like I'm, why are you telling them secrets? This is what Bishop Nathaniel's wife said in an actual video. She told this other woman, because I believe they kicked the old, the other woman's son. And she was like, that's why are you kicking my son out? And they basically said, you know, because he wasn't doing right or whatever. And uh, Bishop Nathaniel's uh, wife said, she, she brought up the story of uh, her son. She said, my oldest son, do you know, he, he chose to go back into the world. There's nothing I can do about it. So it's not like I'm bringing out some damn secret. It was on video a couple of years back. All right. So, and I'm, I'm going to say this too. You got a lot of men that are part of GMS that come into this thing fully and you have sons and you know what you do? You make your sons go out. Just because you're a prophet, a potential prophet of the Lord, doesn't mean that your son is a prophet of the Lord. So you can't make him come out. You can't make him come out. Another thing, if you got children out there, you shouldn't have no children in the camp. When I say children, I'm saying pretty much 12 years old and, and younger, because technically you're a man at 12, but you still got to make up your mind. You're still a child mentally, but physically you pass the stage of puberty. So you, you technically become a man. You can, you, can, you can bring seed at the age of 12, 11, 12, 13. So let me not get by, beside myself. <clears throat> so anyway, um, getting back into it, getting back on, getting back on the main road, the main highway. So strangers right here are talking about, we, we came into this truth. We go out, we teach people, other people come, come in. Before that, they were most likely Christian, Baptist, Methodist, Jehovah, Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, whatever. When you come into this thing, those are the strangers. I'll give you an example. Okay, uh, the, the men of uh, uh, GMS uh, Chicago. I'm just using them. I could have used any group out there. I could have used Florida, but I'm using GMS, GMS Chicago, right? The men, the men that are still doing this to this day, before they knew about this, they were strangers. They were considered strangers. They were Baptists, Methodists, whatever, the hell, Pentecostals, Roman Catholics, or whatever. So when they came into this, they no longer became strangers. So this is what it means by the strangers shall be joined with them. So at one time, I was a stranger. I saw the men teach me. I, I clung on to them. I became a teacher. Men came up under myself, under the apostles, under the bishops, and then the elders, because you got people wanting to come in all the time, right? So it says, and the strangers, which are the other Israelites that's going to come in through the fold, uh, shall be joined with them, and they shall what? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, meaning the, the potential elect or the elect, when they come into this thing, they're not going to let go. They're not going to let go. All right? The scriptures say in Revelation 3, 10, I believe, hold fast. Fast meaning to hold tight before you fall off. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Now this is talking about the other nations. Esau, top of the list. In the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. There's a movie that just came out called Emancipation, uh, starring uh, 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 Will Smith, all right? And he knows he's an Israelite. All these, all these professional people, these actors, these uh, entertainers, they all know about the whole, they know about the IUIC, the the ICPK, the GMS, the Sakaris, and all the other all, all the other camps, the LOIs, the HOIs, They're because we're over, all over the place on YouTube, man. To the point where the small hats, they're, they're mainly focused on the one Westers. All right? So there's a movie came out called Emancipation. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, Apostle Rhyme Lob saw it watched it and he said man he said that was a great movie man you man that's a that's a hell of a movie and then I, I said yeah i heard this guy fuqua 
this this guy Fuqua, I believe he's Nigerian. He now to show you that this is a good movie. He 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 was behind the movie Training Day. The shooter. I know you saw Training Day. Did you see the 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 the, the shooter with this guy um, Wahlberg? That was that that movie. The shooter was just as good as Training Day. So you go to a list of the movies that this guy made. Those are all hits. So I said, "Oh, this man made the movie. This that's 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 a bet. That's a movie. That's a movie to see." And then you got the great uh, Will Smith. He's a great. He's he took the place of uh, of uh, Denzel Washington. He's the new Denzel. When he makes a movie, it ain't junk. That's an inside joke. This ain't junk. So, so this is going to happen. True reparations is right here. That's a T-shirt. I'm helping y'all guys. True represent. True reparations is Isaiah fourteen and two. True reparations is Isaiah. When you make that shirt and you make money, you better you better throw some money at me. I want ten percent. I might even make, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a t-shirt like that. I'm going to get in the t-shirt business too. And I'll, I'll throw you some fringes on it. Anyway, uh, true reparations is Isaiah 14 and 2. So when somebody says, what does Isaiah 14 and 2 mean? With this guy with the t-shirt. Maybe have the the slave ship, you know, the with the, you know, that'd be a hot seller. And, uh, and, the, and the people show, and that's my idea. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh, the servants and handmaidens, maids, and they shall take them captive, slavery, hardcore slavery, working out in the field, whose captives they were. You can't get around that. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Whose captives we were, meaning the last captivity, major captivity that there was that we were into. Is, is what the what the nation called the so-called white man or the Edomites. So that means they're going into captivity. That's true reparations. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna title this True Reparations is 14, uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. So now let's come back over here. All right. Okay, so here's this clown, this fucking clown right here, this walking corpse. Biden, Biden promises 55 billion in reparations to Africa. Uh, African Americans highly upset of Biden's disrespect offered to Africa. You should be highly ups, upset that he ain't gave you a damn thing. All Clinton did was saying, oh, well, we apologize for kicking your ass every day, raping your woman killing you, chopping your feet feet off, chopping your hands off, whipping you. Oh, we're apologize. No, apologize, apology, an apology is not going to get it. Anyway, on to the next one, Shalom. I'm going to watch the rest of this. <laughs> 